Hey YouTube, uh, it's been ages since I did uh, a gun review, so I decided to uh, pop on down here to my office and, and do a real quick one here. Um, I think I'll do, do the newest one I got here, which is uh, a 9mm. Uh, and this is the uh, MC28SA um, in 9mm. And uh, as always, you know, these guns are clear, uh, just so you can see. Nothing in the, nothing in the gun at all. It's clear, it's safe. Uh, so I recently got this uh, a couple of months ago on a trade, um, and I have fired it twice. Um, the reason being, I've only fired it twice, is because um, when I when I did the trade. Um, the guy told me when he first bought this gun um, that he took it to the range and he fired it and uh, and the, the front sight came off. If you can see that. He said he fired it once, one mag or something, and uh, that front sight came off. So, you know, I have looked everywhere for these sights and I can't seem to find them. So if you do know where I can pick one of these sights up, uh, hit me up in one of the comments there for sure. Uh, be you know appreciated so what I've done in the meantime um, as I've just ordered um, a laser seeing so, you know, it does have rails on the bottom there so I have ordered a laser I'm waiting on this last month or something but it should come in the post next week I will do a review on that once it comes um, I'm hoping once I put that on then you know I'll be able to take this to the range the two times I did take it to the range um there, there was not one one uh one shot that landed on target obviously with, with no front side you know uh, but i figured i figured you know you could just you could look down and you could you could almost imagine where that front sight would be and you know i figured um, it would get you know not on target but close enough but funny enough I mean, every shot was, was you know, uh, inches away. Like, it was completely, a complete disaster. <laughs> it was all over the uh, the target. Um, you know, you'd be aiming down and go a couple of inches up. But it was just nowhere near, nowhere near. So that didn't work out. So, you know, um, my review, let's get back to the actual quality of the gun. I think these retail for... Around four hundred dollars Canadian, if I if I'm you know if I'm right, maybe a little bit more, four fifty maybe, four hundred. Um, you know it's very top heavy. This is a very top heavy. It's polymer polymer at the bottom, so all this is polymer, um, and then your top is you know steel, and this makes the gun very top heavy. You know what I mean. Uh, which is a good thing if you're shooting because if you tend tend to flinch you know what i mean it, it keeps it keeps a nice weight uh, at the at the top but the one there's actually a couple of things that i hate about this gun and and i really do you know hate this gun i'm not gonna this is a bad review for this firearm i'm not you know i'll just say this right now um the reason being is i'm not sure if if other ones are like this, it may be the previous owner that replaced the spring that's in this. But the spring in this gun is ridiculously, you know, it's ridiculously hard to cock back. Like, you know, like, it's it's really, really stiff. Like, the stiffest um, pistol I've ever used to cock. And once, you know, worse more is there's no grips to cock it back i mean you, you got grips there but they're, they're they're crap like they're just the crap and then you got grips right here at the top if you can see that light you know and, and when i pull back this firearm you know if there's any oil at all on it or any sort of lubrication you're not pulling it back so what i usually do to look to to actually pull this back is i i grab the top grip and you know i'll pull it back that way it's the only way it just slips out of your you know hands just dangerous so you know i'm not speaking for all of these he you know there may be a, a stiffer spring in this and this one that i typically got but i don't think so um 
And the other one is to, you know, if it's cocked back, right, you got, you know, you got your decocker here, right, which is, you know, again, it, it's probably to do with the spring, but it is extremely stiff, like, and with my, and I got big hands, I got big hands, so like, I, I'm just touching this, like, with the, the tip of my thumb, this, this, um, this action here, and, and I have to really, I have to really pull, you know, I have to really pull that down, like, like, like it's really stiff in order to cock it, you know, so, you know, it, it's, it's, it's just too stiff, you know, and, and the handle is on its big, so if you're buying, if you're thinking about buying one of these for your wife or girlfriend or some girl, I don't think this, this, I don't recommend this at all for, for a woman, just because, you know, it, it's just, it takes a lot of force to load it, it takes a lot of force to cock it, um, and it's a big grip, you know, it, it's a, it's a big grip on, um, you know, go with the, another, go with the, um, you know, I can't say enough better words about the uh, MP22 Norinco. Uh, same value, 400. Absolutely brilliant gun. Love it. Um, no no problems with that at all. Get, get that one. I don't want you to waste your money on this. You know, but it is nice to have. It's cheap to put in your collection if, if you have a collection. I, I have quite a, a good few firearms here since the last videos I've done. Uh, it's been a while, you know, it's probably been about you know five six months before i've uh, done a done a new video so i do have a couple of firearms new here which i am going to do a review of them straight away after this one so check them out um, any comments of course you know hit me up and uh you know we'll, we'll chat but um yeah anyway don't get this for a girl i don't recommend it you know it's only 400 bucks so so any, anything you buy any firearm you buy for 400 you, you know it's it's nice to have for 400 bucks you can't really go wrong um it does come it does come in a case which i'll show you right here i like the case the case is it's different um you know, it comes with uh so it's a bit hard to see guys but you know you put all your rounds in here you got your cleaning rod you got another handle here if you if you want one not sure why they give you two but they do uh, and your cleaning stuff your your ammo goes in there and you got your magazine in here your speed loader here your oil you know so it's a nice little case um, in that regards but But that's about it. I mean, like I said, I've taken this to the range twice, and I'm not pushed to fire at all. I will, I will be. It will be interesting to see if the laser, um, you know, makes up for the for the iron sight gone. Um, you know, and again, if any of you know where I can pick one of those sights up, do let me know. Um, but yeah, if uh, if you're thinking about getting one of these, um, don't get the MP22 Norinco, same price will not go wrong way better quality but uh then again if you can afford it just pick one of these up add it they're fun you know to just bear in mind that there's a lot of issues i i have a lot of issues with this um so that's basically it uh, i'll give you another quick look of the firearm so and and this you know this this break here waste of time like that one there i don't even know why to do that like you know that's it's here right so the reset is is crap as well so you know so you got you got a lot of play you got a lot of play in that and then it stops and then you know and that's a really really hard trigger pull you know and then your reset so it doesn't reset until it doesn't reset until you bring it right back out so i don't know why i, I guess that's there for safety um you know uh, that's probably the only thing it's it's good for really but again guys um i'll give this i don't know um pushing a three a three star out of ten this is that's pushing it 
I wouldn't give it any more than three stars. This is just something you have in your collection for the fun, really, because it's so cheap. Um, not sure what the magazines do go for, but uh, you know, most magazines in Canada they go for around fifty bucks. So you know, um, yeah, that's my review on the MC twenty eight SA. Hit me up. Any questions? Thanks.